on this planet. Oligarchs among the ruling classes own all the newspapers and television channels and messaging networks and media enterprises and So what stops the oligarchs using them for propaganda? Filtering the flow of information for political ends? Nothing. <laughs> they do it all the time. One of the oligarchs is taking control of one of the medium-sized messaging sites. One that explicitly reorders and ranks messages according to secret algorithms. <laughs> Sounds like a good cover for narrative control to me. Yes. He, he says he's taking it from the hands of one group of the ruling classes into his own individual control to try and restore <laughs> free speech. That's mad. How can further centralising control of a network make it more free? <laughs> By free speech, he seems to mean removing constraints on bullying. <laughs> Surely he knows that unrestricted bullying leads to speech being less free. Because the, cause the bullies harass and shame others, cowing them into silence. Well, you would assume so, but his messages show no sign of acknowledging it. Surely everyone will just leave, migrate to networks that don't have owners. They could decentralize and become ungovernable. Perhaps, but what's really being fought over is the political control of the means of communication. It's really about controlling the dissemination of information. To leave for a less owned platform would be to cede control of this one network to the enemy. So instead of being free, they fight and argue over which oligarchs should own them. Man, this place is gonna blow up so hard. It's fascinating to watch. Everyone back at home is gonna want to like and subscribe.